Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of uh, Review Your AD or AO. If you guys don't know how this works, it's every other stream, every stream, I pick five people randomly. Subscribers do get uh, priority. And I will do an in depth review from numbers one, two, three, and four. So, number one is I review your current AD. For example, you set a defense like this right here i will review this ad and look at the runes on your ad and suggest any potential changes uh, for number two exactly the same but for your offense number three make you an ao maybe you don't know what to do or don't know your options are don't know your box i'm here to help you suggest you an ao um, and then number four is make you an ad you have no idea what to run based off your box i will look into your box suggest four monsters and how to ruin them and then that's probably gonna be it's based off my opinion of what works based off your box and your rank all right and the, today what we're gonna do is the five people already selected are gonna be scrubbies pyth shrouder max and this guy right here lord shilo okay so we'll get started number four scrubby make you an ad so first thing i look at is I look at your arena rank. So, conquer one. So in conquer one, it's basically a rune check. How good is your offense? And in conquer, I never, I, I never, ever recommend you run something like this. And the reason being is because I'm gonna guess his his speed defense team is slow and not rune properly, right? So here it is. <clears throat> My guess: 96 speed, 172. And the gene is 98. So this is, I, I don't believe this is speed tuned to your Tiana. So that's why it's not going to be good. And your Tiana is, is on will. So that is good. But a lot of people who are in the conquer range don't actually belong in conquer because they don't use, they don't do arena. So what I suggest you do is, I like the idea, this speed AD, this is decently fast. This will get you at least conquer two, conquer three, just based off your offense and putting your offense onto your defense. So your idea works. However, you need to, if you wanna make it work, I this needs to be speed tuned to your Tiana. And I don't believe 96 speed is speed tuned to 172. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they're not speed tuned, this defense is automatically trash because your Tiana uses third skill and then my Tiana cuts your Tiana because you're not speed tuned. So that's why it's bad. But if it is speed tuned, if it is, then you have potential to control the enemy team, right? So because none of your units are speed tuned, like this, not speed tuned, this not speed tuned. This not speed tuned. Uh, where's your gene? Sorry, your gene not speed tuned. The best option here is to just run something very tanky because on paper, this will go first if the if the enemy is slower than you. But if you go first and you do nothing, you're not even threatening a win, right? So the idea here is. Don't run a speed AD because just based off your current monsters right now, you're not able to run that type of quality of defense. So what I would suggest is the first thing I look at is stall monsters or just four tanky bruisers with a nemesis healer. And what I'm looking at here is no Camilla, right? You don't have a Camilla, but you do have a Praha. I'm not sure where you're at in the game and this is not max skilled, but if you have a Praha and you want to run stall, it's built double nemesis will. Moving on. Um, to your fire units. Fire units are very key because what they offer is um, Lucian counters here. So you have a Sukhmet. Not max skilled, but honestly, it doesn't need to be max skilled because you're using this and it's an increased activation rate. Um, you have a Ratesh, which is nice. But your Ratesh is built incorrectly, so I'm not going to recommend this. It's not on violent, it's not on HP, 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 or speed double HP. So it's built incorrectly. And then you have this unit. It's on Swift as well. So I see that you are more on the early game side without the violent runes. 
<clears throat> so actually what I like to suggest here is if you have a spare swift set that is super fast you can run Samoth segment and then a and then for example two other units that are just tanky bruisers it could be this if you rerun it it could be your Oki if you also rerun it if your Oki is on like a swift build instead of a violent build that would be that would work as well i don't see any stall stall monsters on your box i i don't see a rena that's built i don't see a camilla i don't see a rakan i don't see a perna i don't see a vanessa i don't see a triana so there's no options for you to run stall really and if you're able to put this on swift as well that's an option so like i mentioned you can use segment samoth if you're willing to invest some better swift runes onto um, this unit right here. And this doesn't need to be this fast, so you can strip this and put a different set on it. If you don't know how to rerune re this, look at my YouTube video on how to ruin your Tiana. Um, so that's my advice to you is maybe put this swift set onto this. And hey, thanks for subscribing. My Lucian is sick, nasty. So, once again, Samoth, Sekhmet, and then run two tanky units here. I would like one extra fire and then a wind unit because you want that trio element here, or even your gene if you don't have an extra fire here. So, that's my advice to you um, based off your box here. And make sure to build this. This monster is super good for your offense. And that oh, you have a you have a Kumar. Okay, run Sekhmet Kumar, and then put your Samoth, and then put your Ratesh. That's on a better set, not on not on Swift. Okay, not on Swift. Maybe maybe just put your Gene runes onto him, and max them out, and that'll be sufficient. And then work on your offense. Slow down your Tiana, and watch my Tiana guide, and build that properly. All right, moving on. Who is the next person? Pyth. All right, Pyth is my subscriber. And I will give you a little bit more attention to detail because you support my stream. Uh, make you an AD. So you're C2, 300 days in, very early. I like it. If you're early in the game, there's really no reason for you to push RTA. Reason being... You don't have you know the monster box, you know the rune quality, you get extra crystals from farming giants. I mean arena, so fantastic. Alright, so currently you're running nothing. But I do see you got some premium monsters here. So in Conquer, like I said before, most people in Conquer don't belong there. <clears throat> However, this is a very scary unit. And Samoth Perna works to a certain extent. But it dies to it dies to Zyros really and it dies to Zyros Alicia really really easily. So it's, the other option is to run your Rakan over <clears throat> over your Perna here. It I feel that they're both interchangeable. Some people are more scared of this unit because they don't have an Alicia or Zyros, but some people are more scared of this unit because they can watch out the Rakan. I mean, they're Lucian. So it's based off preference and how and maybe who's farming you that week or how many attacks you're getting. It's always nice to change it up. So these are your two options to run with your Samoth. <clears throat> um, but I don't really see that you have a a dedicated stripper. Um, this is not a swift build and at conquer you're not investing swift runes into your defense because there's just no depth to do that so what you should probably do is i would run i would run stuff that revives i would run stuff that revives because honestly it's a lot more threatening than a speed defense that has no speed on it. So first, I like running your Perna, Perna or Rakan, paired with your Wind Druid. Fantastic stall unit, by the way. If you're able to put this on Will, that'd be great. If like this rune isn't even that good, right? Um, it doesn't really offer that much. It's basically, it's basically a green rune. 
I mean, sorry, blue rune. And this is is good because of the speed, but you can put like a wheel set on this. So I would use um, the Rakan, Windrude. Do you have a Harmonia by any chance? Yeah, you do. All right. I like this build. You can make this even a little bit faster if you want to. I uh, see you have some grinds here. That's okay. You have some grinds here. I would put a faster rune in the slot if you can, if it, and leave it on violent nemesis. The idea I like right here is you put Rakan and um, Harmonia together because of the HP lead and it pairs very nicely. And then you run additional stall by putting your Druid. And then your plus one should ideally be a, a Camilla. Ideally. But I don't see a Camilla, which is not a problem. So you can just run Jean, Darien, but this Darien is on an R5 build, so this is going to be triple HP if you would like to run this. And so that's the options here. Darien, Diaz on a triple HP build, or you run the Gene, but it, ha it, can't, it can't be defense. Ooh, this is a really good rune. This is a really fantastic rune. But it can't be defense. Reason being is you just get Lucian. Right, double illusion goes through it, but this is pretty. If, I don't know if you have the room quality to go speed double HP, but if you don't, and this is the best you can do, this is this is fine. It just needs to survive and then violent proc a bunch of times and heal up and control. So that's my advice to you to run stall. This looks it looks built correctly. You just need some grinds here to speed it up, like this here, and then take this off. Destroy. It needs to be on will. Your Rakan, it it will have enough HP just because you have this unit here and this HP lead here. So the idea here is if you get cleaved, this Nemesis Prox heals up your team and then it stalls out and the Rakan is a threat against Lucian, Tiana's, um, any DDs. And it, I would probably make this a little faster because it needs to cut in so I'm, I'm, I'm going to recommend for you con Conquer. I think 120 speed is, is sufficient. So just my idea based off of your box. I think this unit is a premium version of this unit here. And if you don't have skill ups on this, I would definitely recommend um, if you're using it for Guild War, it's something you can do. Um, if you don't want to invest anything in this, um, this is the option. But then you have to take out, um, I think, your Harmonia then. Did you still want me to add you for fast R5? I can make a spot. Yeah, you can invite me, sure. All right. Do you have any questions, my friend? <clears throat> I'm going to wait for you to answer. Do you have any questions? Or is it clear? You can work with that. All right, it's good. This like this unit is is like the premium Triana in my opinion. <clears throat> but it requires. I actually try to summon for it. I see a lot of people adding me, but um, we're we're currently right, we're on Shrouder now. Shrouder, what did you press again? Did you, did you press one, two, three, or four? Where's the coffee pot? I ran out of water in my coffee pot. People, by the way, stop asking me on Reddit to review your AD or PM me an AD because I'm not going to respond anymore, okay? The thread is long gone and I'm not responding. And if you're from YouTube and you think commenting and asking me, is this a good AD, will get you an in-depth answer. No, I'll give you an answer saying yes or no, okay? That, that's all I'm going to do. So go ahead, leave a comment if you want to yes or no. <clears throat> hey, Pero. Um, today, we already accepted our people, but I will get to you next time because you are subscribed. Hey, Pero, thanks for subscribing again for two months. I will get to you next stream for sure. Um, so you put number two, review your AO. Your AO is Praha Fengyan Huadam. Okay, no. We're going to revamp your whole AO because that's that AO is the AO you do when you have unlimited time to press auto. 
we, we don't press auto in this stream all right we we don't we don't press auto no praha Fengyan Huadam Jara is not a real AO. So what you actually mean, Shrouder, is press 4. Because you don't know how to make an AD. Okay, we got it. Okay. First thing you look at is, do you own a Tiana? No, you don't own a Tiana. But you do own Double Lucian. Do you have any... Okay, you have this. It's not it is not a real stripper. So you have double Lucians. These double Lucians are well ruined enough to get you to G1. But the question is, do you know how to hit certain teams with double Lucian? And do you have a Bastet? No Bastet. So I guess you are using Megan. But you have a Wusa. This Wusa acts like a Bernard when you go against teams that have no strips or chances to, like, like direct strips like Praha Juno, but like Molongs you can bring it into. And then it also counters Halfus. It acts like the Bastet without the attack buff, so you bring a Megan in. So you have this unit, so good. And then not every AD has Juno Praha. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> The, this is not ruined correctly because you're not speed tuned. 104 and 87 do not look the same to me. So I would reduce the speed on this unit to increase the crit rate on this. And I would probably put this on a real set. Because if you want a gun for a better set, I would put some real runes on this and not put a Necrolution. This is a good rune, but not for Lucian. Unless your broken, th I see your broken sets are really good. Your broken sets are really good. And if this is what you can make with your Lucian, then so be it. But you need to speed tune them so they are, they're not speed tuned together. 87 and 104, they're not the exact same speed. So if, if this goes and this is not as fast as this unit, for example, the Nemesis will cut you. So it's not speed tuned. That's why it's not speed tuned. If you want the best results, the idea is to have your Lucians at relatively the same speed. So if there's any, and you never know how people reroute their double nemesis or one single nemesis healers, and you don't know the speed when you're climbing up, right? So the safe bet is to have them the same speed. And then your Megan, if you're using your Megan as your secondary booster, which you are, I would put this on a fight set. Fight, double fight will, because the, when you're using a Wusa, you're using the Wusa to protect your double Lucians, right? And then when you protect your double Lucians, you, you don't really care what they do as long as you get one shot. And by having a double fight on this, it makes your Lucians stronger. And if you have will, you won't get Leoed and you can bring it into Leo. And this is, you should six star it, Crit rate is not my favorite. Reason being, if you crit on Camilla, you do significantly less damage. But if this is what you're able to work with, the speed set is able to get you to G1. Um, but you need to you need to summon an Alicia. I don't see a 44 lead, so that's one problem. I don't see an Raki either. But you have Zyros, right? This needs to be reroomed so that it's also speed tuned to this because an AO you can do is Zyros, Bernard, Megan, Lucian, and Meg Bernard is interchangeable with Wusa, depending on if you need to go first or can you just shield up, they go, and then you clean up, right? So that's the benefit of having a Wusa. I don't own one, but this is an option you can do. When, when you're using your your Feng Yan, your Jara team, it takes two minutes to clear. If you want to reach G1, it's a question of how fast can you clear or is it because you don't actually belong in G1 and you have all these wings on your team and OP LD Nav 5s and you're in Conqueror 3 because no one wants to hit you, right? Your, 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 your box doesn't look like it, right? It doesn't look like it. 
So that's my advice to you. And if you really want to use this unit because you built it, why not? You can use Gemini as your stripper and then use Galleon and then use this unit. I don't recommend it, but if you want to have fun bombing or if you see four bruisers that have zero threat and you can take first turn because you have no Tiana and you use your Gemini, that's the only condition here. You have four bruisers like Ratesh, gonna be like Ratesh, Rena, Ariel, Camilla, no threat here, they're not going first. You can use Gemini, you can bomb them up and detonate. Do you even have a Sierra? Well, okay, what am I even saying? You don't have a Sierra. I'm lying. I, t I take it all back. Don't look at Jara's runes. We're going to do it for stream content. All right. Arena going second is almost never the strategy because people run speed defenses. And when you hit speed defenses, you automatically cannot hit speed defenses. So that's my advice to you on how to improve your AO. Stop using your Feng Yen Hua damn team. Um... Max. Max says, review your current AD. So Max is the only one. Is Max, let me confirm first. Is this your defense you want me to review? What server? I am in global. If you're just joining us now, this is a YouTube series where I conduct um, a review of one to four up there of five people in the chat randomly, first come, first serve. Join my Discord for live notifications. So this is your defense. It's, it's not good. And the reason why it's not good is because your Bastet is telling me, hey, I want to run a speed defense. Bastet is generally on Swift. Okay, if you want to go first, then why are you running three units that are not speed tuned and you have no speed lead? So your defense, one, one fourth of it, it wants to be fast. The other, th other three wants to go to sleep, dude. So let me look at your box and suggest a better you're running that stall life, right? You're in you're in Conquer 2. Stall is perfectly fine in Conquer 2. People in Conquer 2, they don't want to be bruisering people that take 15 minutes, like the other guy that we just reviewed. He's like one in a million. Okay? Most people, if they can't speed clear it, they will skip you. And if they if you have a speed clear defense, they will just put four tanks in, soak up the damage, and then clear you because no one cares about rush hour and conquer if if you're just bruisering, okay? So, do you want to run a speed defense? No, you do not because your room quality does not equal you will go next. So, the idea here is you want to run a healer. You don't have a nemesis healer to heal up your team once it gets cleaved. I like that you have trio element. However, you do not have a nemesis healer and if you really do not then we can run something else see this is not on balance so it's unusable this i'm gonna suggest if you're running on defense if you're if you're yeah, you, first of all put this on an hp slot six because your third skill scales with hp so i'm gonna assume once you have an hp slot you're roughly around 22,000 HP maybe, I'm not sure. <clears throat> With Recon lead, right? So fix this rune, please. Fix this rune. And if if you really don't want to invest good runes on it, just put it on speed double HP, who cares? Um, what was your other unit, Rena? Your Rena is missing some resistance here. So you have a resistance gem here that you're missing. Um, you're missing resistance on this. You don't need a you don't need to force a blade set. Just put resistance on this rune here. Any rune will do because a blade set means nothing to me. And make sure to max this. Because your defense actually matters because it scales off your, your shield buff and your passive, right? Um let's see, going back to your monsters, your Ratesh. Your Ratesh is missing a lot of HP and a lot of speed. Okay, I, I, you need to replace this rune because you don't need all this crit damage on your Ratesh and you need some speed on it. This rune is not doing you any favors. You gotta put an HP 
you need, you need some HP subs or run HP slot two. Take it off, take it off Nemesis. Your Nemesis runes only this one is really good, and I guess you're forcing a set here. Just just break it. If you have a twenty speed rune here, just break the Nemesis set and then put an HP slot right here. Um, like Nemesis Ritesh, like it, it cuts in uses third skill, right? But most of the time, you're 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 gonna you're gonna live because you're so tanky with like at least thirty thousand HP, right? So, change. Are you willing? Are you willing to put a swift set on this unit? If you're willing to put a swift set on this unit, you can replace your bestet with this unit for the HP lead plus the scare on the enemy Tiana. Any slow Tiana user, even with a speed lead, will be scared of a fat segment, regardless of your rank. Uh, what does the skill do? Attack speed. Ugh. If not, I would just run your gene. This is a little questionable. So, oh, you have this, but it's on Will. Okay, never mind. You're not using this because if you're running Rakan, Ritesh, Rina, nothing's gonna die, and this unit is essentially useless. So, I would put in a Jean, a Diaz, Darian. Where's your Diaz? N not on triple HP, so it's not usable for defense. If it's on triple HP, your Darian, Diaz, sure you can. You use Rakan, Ratesh, Rina, and then your Diaz, Darian. Put it on triple HP. If you don't want to, even even use a Freya, a four star. That's an optional that's an option you can use as well. So the last units are this, if you want, put is your speed lead, I mean your HP lead, or if you don't want to use Recon lead and you put in your Gene or a Darian Diaz. If you use D Diaz, you use the resistance lead. Um or if you use Recon, use the HP lead. Hope that makes sense. Is Nemesis greater than Will on Triana for Arena? Yes. Will is for RTA. Alright, and we are on our last person. It is Lord She. Lord Shilos. Um, What number did you pick again? Sorry. You guys are referring to this, right? Four. All right. Review your AD. All right. Same same thing as the last guy. You're telling me that hey, I want to go first. I want to control your team. Take all your buffs. Stun you with Molong. Control you with Gene. But then I have this random aerial. Thank you for upgrading your subscription. Appreciate it a lot. This defense is telling me you want to go first. Take all my buffs from my Tiana and then control me, but then your aerial does nothing. All right? That's the idea here. What's your aerial good for? I don't know, but you're also in Conquer, so let's fix that up. Do you want to run a speed defense just because maybe you want some wins, or do you want to run a stall defense because stall defenses will get you draws, almost 0% win rate, and people will be like, I hate you, I'm not hitting you. What? It's a preference thing, right? If you're running a speed AD, your rune depth has to be really, really, really high. You need to put swift sets that you are not using on your AO on your defense. You need to put the spare sets on your defense that you're not using. Stuff like that, right? So let me look at your Chiwu first. So your Chiwu is not going to get first turn because it's not on Swift. And when people bring an attack bar booster in, your Chiwu will not go first and your team will just get cleaved. And your Jean Molong, they're guaranteed not on Swift either. And Molong is not a stripper, right? So if you want to run this unit, if you really want to run a speed AD, then this has to be rerouted to be on one of your fastest swift sets. And then your team will work and then you replace your aerial, right? So instead, what I will recommend to you is run some sort of stall defense 
that also revives with your Vanessa. This is actually a really high grade tier unit on defense, but you're building it for RTA. So, oof, this rune is spicy. This is a spicy rune. A spicy rune. <clears throat> I take out the resistance, by the way. And what you do here is actually, do you even take the resistance and then you just gem in more defense? That's another story. Anyways, you change this so it's an HP slot. And then that way, it's going to be really, really tanky. Okay? Really tanky. And then you run. So, what do you have? A... Sorry, do you have a Camilla? Um. No Camilla, no problem. All right. So it's one. Moving on to a win unit. It doesn't look like you have a, do you have a Triana or is this not here? Do you have a Triana? If you don't have a Triana, you're building one. If you're building a Triana, Vanessa Triana is a very typical defense that you see up until G1. I think it works very well until G1. And you can build your Triana on speed, double HP, on Nemesis. Make sure you put the Triana on your last slot. And so Vanessa Triana. And then you can run this unit. Just put it on triple HP or speed HP HP. Don't worry too much about its speed. You know, this speed, 100 speed, 80 speed, perfectly fine. Make sure it's thick and it lives, okay? And you have my condolences for this unit because I have, I have him too. So it's going to be Vanessa, Triana, your Black Horus, and last unit. I don't see don't see any strong water monsters except for this it's built correctly um your last monster can be rakan or ariel if you use ariel it kind of defeats the purpose of your triana because your triana is trying to heal up your team so i think your ariel might be a little interchangeable with your triana it doesn't really make too much sense to me so what i like is you run Vanessa, Triana, the Black Horus, and then your Rakan or your Jean. This, I believe, needs to be on Will. If you're not able to get there, you can you can get away with it and conquer, but you're not going to get it away with it um, at a higher level. Why does Triana have to be the last slot? It's the inter it's the interaction. Um, there is a thread on Reddit um, if you want to no more in detail about it but it should just be the last slot no one is going to dozer a recon with triana vanessa no one's going to do that so your last slot again can be this unit actually not on this unit because you're never going to buy them proc and take multiple turns so your last unit will be your recon but if you rerune your um your unit your your gene to bond will bond revenge go for it see what works and if that team is not working for you i'll give you an extra one okay i'll give you a bonus defense if you want to try that out instead of running this lead you run this lead and you run rakan <clears throat> you run rakan ariel Vanessa and like wait what did I say I'm losing my mind here where am I suggesting you where is your hey you have no wind threat all right I'm gonna hold back on my words I'll give you another one I, I if it because you ruined your aerial I want it I want it to work for you like because you ruined it up you invested so much stuff in it I want to make it work for you. And the only way this is going to work is if you run like Triana so this doesn't die. So it come, if it gets Lucian or like Fat Lucian, it lives. Triana, Ariel, and Double Fire, which is going to be this this unit and a Harmonia. So it's like Rakan, Harmonia, Triana, Ariel. The Ariel acts like Camilla. 
that has been a legend defense before. So do you have any questions? This is the last one. If you are interested in joining a review like this, where I you pick an option one to four, make sure you follow on my Twitch when I go live. Join my Discord by clicking the panel on my Twitch below and join in for live notifications. These are random. So once again, Lord Shilo, we want to make sure everything with everything is clear. Any questions? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I can answer them um, when I have time. And thank you so much for joining in, everybody. Um, I will be streaming. I always stream on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and they are random throughout the week. So make sure to drop a follow. And um, thanks for watching. If you guys want to join in or have any European fans, Asia fans, I'm willing to join um, that server to do the review, but I just don't have the viewer base to do it. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. I am looking to grow it. Thanks so much, guys.